what creates our reality? Your reality, your experience, your life, your world. This is your world here. And I've been working on this for many years and it's what determines, what are the influences that create our reality and then how to change these influences to then change our life, our reality, our world, what we experience. I've identified 10 factors. I'm sure there's more. And it could actually be less than that. And I could summarise some of the factors into one. However, I'm going to do this presentation today based on what I've done to date. And I will definitely be refining it and expanding on it in a book that I'm writing. And then I'll go on to explain how I've experienced to change the reality the experience from these influences or these factors. Now, as there are 10, I'm thinking I will do two videos. Part one, this is part one. I've just decided this is unscripted, so I will do five for the video and then I'll do part two. we start now how does one summarize such a, a big story let's start with what I feel and this order may change I will say the order the order may change but I'm going to start with beliefs and a really brief explanation that's the point of the video it's very summarized I will be writing all more detail in the book beliefs Generally, I believe that we do receive most of our beliefs in early childhood. This is a summary and it's mostly based on what you see, what you hear, what people told you and therefore we create, it's like a set of rules. Let's say it could be your rules for how life works, rules about life. Please accept this as a summary. Rules about life. Example, and we'll just do some examples throughout this presentation. I am healthy. I'll focus on positives, but I'll also use some negative ones as well. Because the whole point of changing one's reality is to change it to what we desire. And also my experience is that I, when I started to do this work, I already had many things that I really loved already in my world. And I wanted to change some. So mostly I was happy with my life experience but there were things that I really wanted to change and that's why I come up with all these because so I have been known to talk about these factors alone and it's more of a holistic approach that I feel now so meaning there's many other factors than just this just this and also I'll go on to explain how we change Okay, so your beliefs could be your rules about your life. Example, I am healthy, and then that can go even deeper, and there's lots of examples that I'll use in the book. And let's just say, one off the top of my head, what's a fun one? It can be something that you have been told by someone else or that you just created, which is, if I hold this crystal ball, I will have superpowers. <laughs> so anything that you believe. You can say it's your stories. We'll just stay with beliefs and expand more on this later. I could actually do a video on each one standalone. Rules about yourself. Now, number two. So this is generally rules about your life. Why two is different from beliefs, but there's some similarities, is it's more about you, which is everything. So let's call this self-identity. How you ident identity. And yes, I do love hearts for eyes. Self-identity. How you see yourself as a summary, 
similar, but it's your self identity. This includes many things. Yes, your looks, also your talents, your skills, your capabilities. Examples. I am pretty. Or you could be the, uh, the opposite to that. I'm unattractive. I am lovable or unlovable. I am smart. Or the opposite to smart. See how much I don't like saying negative if you have any undesired I am's in your self identity, the whole point of going through the process is to create what you want. And that's the work. Essentially, we're calling it work. It's called inner work. It's also amazingly powerful, empowering, enjoyable. And if you're already intrigued, please, I'd love to hear your feedback as well as we go. Self identity, how you see yourself. Your looks, your talents, your capabilities. This is a summary. I'm pretty, I am lovable, I am smart. And on and on and on. You can change this again mostly from beliefs, early childhood, what other people have said to you, and then it becomes number three. You can see how a lot of these can be incorporated into one another as well. I'm just listing them off now and I will and I will be refining this. Three your programs. You can also call patterns of behavior. So programs and patterns, let's just say programs and patterns, which are essentially your habits, your behavior, which also comes really from beliefs and self-identity. Your programs, your patterns. And put that as number three. And you can see how it all comes in together. For this, this video is more about what the factors are and there'll be a video about how to change. So four, I've listed focus, which I've talked about in another video, which is all about you create your reality from what you focus on. And an example here is that if you were focusing on being fit and healthy, then everything you see around you is about fitness and health. And then you pri it's also, I think, priority. What you prioritize, priority priority we'll put priority what you prioritize and this is also very evident now with uh, the with being online and if you were looking at lots of fit and healthy videos and you're going to be showing more of them so it's like an extension of our RAS which is the reticular activating system which is generally part in our brain that focuses on what we want if we want to be fit and healthy we see everything to do with fit and health fitness and health and we prioritize it and we exercise or eat healthily in that example focus major factor in what determines our reality because we can choose we can feel it's like filtering out and i was going to say choose so essentially it is choosing we filter out what we don't want and we filter we let into our filter what we do want and a perfect example of this is a news feed on your social media platform where you will scroll and you don't want that, but you do want that, right? Fit and healthy. In that example, five is, again, this is not necessarily in order and I'm going to finish out five because I've nearly run out of paper and I think it's enough. <laughs> and I'll do six to 10 in another video. Five is people. There might be a better word here, but I'll say people around us who influence us. Family, friends, that lovely birds chirping in the background, isn't that lovely? Friends, colleagues, if you go to a workplace or you may work from home, but still colleagues, people who influence you, family, friends, colleagues, partner if you have one, any people, any people whom you spend time with regularly who have any sort of influence on you. And the most perfect example here is that you could have had a belief about something and somewhere in, in this circle here, we could call this your circle, influences that belief and says, no, it's not that way. And that's why it's part of your life. Thinking of a really good example. Okay, let's use an example with money here, just off the top of my head. If you were growing up with the belief that you need to go to work nine to five, work for the man, as the old saying is, to earn a salary and that that business model or that way to make money, if you had that 
and then you start being around people who don't do that maybe they're entrepreneurs they earn money online and it's really easy and they enjoy it there's a new belief and it's also now your new experience because then you you say oh they do it so i can do it so then you become a, a online sensation and you make lots of money online where's the old belief another word we can use here that i haven't brought in much but i will be in the book and i have written about it a lot is the word paradigm and there's many definitions for paradigm though here it the context here is the paradigm in this context is really your reality your life experience your experience so that's five there's six to ten and there's also the second part is how to change to change your reality so i'd love to hear any feedback or questions in the comments please write to me if you have any questions and as always i'd love to hear feedback in any way this has helped thank you for watching